newfangled hoverboards that they've got. Don't actually go near water with them. Two problems with the hoverboards now. One of them is that they're not hovering. They're on fucking wheels. And two, don't be expecting to hover across water. You're not Jesus. Those things are just going to short circuit. I know a fella who bought one from China. Got a fucking drop of rain on it and it shorted. Fella there with the spirit level out. The top off. Spirits are high. And a power of work has been done. If the fellas down below listening, giving approval, it's a powerful, powerful scene. It's so German in its conception and in its execution, nothing short of Saxonic. This is Hanover. This is now. A lovely crane in the sky. It's great to see the crane in the sky. Let you know that industry is happening and stuff's going on at pace. And with relish, with a certain degree of relish as well. It's nice to see a bit of work being carried out in broad daylight. Where there's a fair bit of guile and gust behind it as well. Some kind of... Some kind of Germanic scripture there. Couldn't really make head nor tail of it from, from this distance. Even if I was to try and Louis Braille it with my hands. The fucking font and typeface is that old Germanistic stuff which kind of makes it seem a little bit... I, I, you can't really make out some of the letters. It, it's too old to read, to be, to be honest, but it's, it's a lovely bit of stuff. And over here then we've just another... an art installation which clashes with the, the old... because it's a, it's a new piece uh, and it's none other than Scrap Box Metal by Karl Heinz Funk Blaster. It's very, very subjective. It really is. It's got a lot, there's so much going on. It's, it's a very busy piece, whilst at the same time manages to retain a lot of tranquility as well. Big box... <laughs> And, and also it's very comical as, as you can hear by the laughter of women um, it's well known actual point of uh, Hanover women to come down and just laugh at the funk blaster exhibit it does just looking at it instill you with a, a, a sense or feeling of relish mo not too dissimilar to the relish of the workmen we've seen at the Whitewater Rafting Park down below but it's just, it's, it's got a lot going for it, you know? It's got a lot going for it. I don't know what. I suppose um, when you had the fucking lad, Marcos du Duchamp or whatever his fella, the fella in France who did the, the pisser on the bicycle wheel. Do you know, what was that about even, do you know? And now, 100 years later or whatever, people are still at it. Change the channel, man. Change the channel. Sorry about that, actually. It's, whatever you want to say about it, it is art. So whether or not you're saying something bad about it, or good. Whoever did that had the balls to go and do it in the first place. Or, do you know. Or over as if it was a woman. Or, in this day and age, of uh, gender nonconformity and, and, you know, concepts, gender concepts in the mind, Maybe that woman did have a lot of balls doing that. Maybe that man had a lot of ovaries. If, if it was a man, well, it was Karl Heinz Funk Blaster, so as far as I know, that's a fella. Unless he's updated his fucking status, his pronouns and that, I'm not sure. A lovely bronze, back to reality here, a, a bronze statue of a horse and, his, and a naked man. Thank you very much there, Gestapo, Wasp, and Mama Duck. Don't know who these fellas are, but people love them. People were going wild for them back in the day. The great 
hair, uh, hair scenario on this fella. Hair and beard combination. Oh man, we got it. He thought that was the best hair and beard combination. Wait till you see this guy. None other than Herman Rash from 1810. Check this out. Beyond good and evil. This guy, what's he searching for? Look at that hand in the pocket. What's that about? What's his business about? It's a young fella now. Jimmy Belay. Absolutely hilarious. None other than Christian Ulrich Gruppen. Unbelievable, unbelievable stuff. Let's get one last look at this fella's face. And look at the size of his hands. Her nostril were outlawed for and removed for a while, then saved by popular demand. Hey, I'm just after seeing a pattern that made me a little bit uneasy in a German administrative building. Well, I'll leave it for I'll leave it with G anyway. Suggestive isn't the word. <laughs>